everybody, thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. My dear friends, this is weekly love tarot reading, plus astrological sign. Aquarius, my dear Aquarians, welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. New week in front of all of us, starting with this date, October 3rd till October 9th, 2016. As you can see, I already shuffle my cards and in front of us, as usual, we have five tarot cards and I will try to do my best. I will try to translate all of those tarot symbols which lies in front of you. So, my dear friends, what you can expect? What type of energies? What type of people? Events, news or information I will explain for you all. Before I begin, let me just quickly remind you. Please listen not only your sun sign, but also your moon and your rising sign as well. Because believe me, in those three videos, you can find even so much more information about your upcoming week. So, let's get started. Major Arcana, the High Priestess. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups. Prince of Discs and Queen of Swords. Okay, we have five tarot cards in front of us, but in my hands I hold another additional tarot card which stays at the bottom of my tarot deck after shuffling. I will reveal this additional tarot card a little bit later. So, my dear Aquarius, what basically I can see for you. Okay, I will start with good news. If you're single with Ace of uh, Cups, new relationship on your horizon could be with libra man could be with gemini could be another aquarius but i think that you are going to be most excited uh, because of one capricorn virgo or taurus at least some of you so my dear aquarians in those three tarot cards I can describe for you only very, very good things and only good news. Because this somebody, this man is so handsome. And of course, if you are male Aquarius, basically this is most likely your future partner, Libra or Gemini. So you can basically be happy already now because this because of this relationship why i don't know why but i get this feeling that this person is kind of special for you maybe with a little bit of you know age difference between the two of you but this is not important this is not important this is only a few years of 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 um, of difference this is not important this is falling in love and this man is going to be, first of all, very, very diligent. Most likely, you will meet this man through your job, your colleague, uh, business associates, or something, something like that. Also, this man could belong to other religious uh, group, uh, other religious belief system, or I don't know how, how you call that on English, but you know exactly what I mean. First, what you will see that this man is so handsome you cannot move you know your eyes from him so basically this is love like at a first sight instant type of love you know all of the sudden and you will feel from the very first uh, you know first sight that you want to be you know all over him don't laugh this is pure normal human uh, instinct instinctive desire for, for another human being to be with somebody but let me just uh, warn you uh, let's say you are aquarius woman uh, and this uh, man he's going to be like four five six seven years younger than you don't be mad i need to warn you up in front don't be mad if he made you know some kind of some kind of you know wrong step some type of mistake uh, due to his uh, immaturity try to understand this is not nothing in, this is not intentionally something uh, this is not believe me this is very very nice person very very diligent person polite polite tidy very 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 nice uh, very well brought up uh, man 
and I know you will fall in love, madly in love with him, madly. You will start even following him, questioning, you know, okay, where were you like uh, two hours ago, you know, and this type of uh, questions. Don't do that. First of all, this is not you. First of all, this is not like you. You are Aquarius, female or male, and uh, this is this this is not your style. But now you will fall, or at least you will have a chance to fall in love in a, such a hasty manner that you want to be like 24-7 with this man. Very, 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 very sexy man. And of course, if you are a male Aquarius, Aquarius basically this is sexy Libra, Gemini, or another Aquarius for you. So basically, whatever I already mentioned, like for you, if you are a woman, everything goes vice versa if you are a man. But I am a little bit concerned with those two tarot cards at the very beginning. And because I'm a little bit concerned, I start with, uh, with uh, what, what I think it is a little bit, you know, much, a little bit, you know, easier for me to predict. Those two tarot cards are pretty nasty, pretty, pretty nasty. And especially if you are already, you know, in marriage, because some of your secrets, and uh, let me tell you, you are not very proud. Uh, at uh, you know what I'm talking about. You are not very proud, uh, basically, uh, because this is cheating. Most likely coming from you, or if you are, if you are already married, maybe this is your secret uh, ideal type of partner. Maybe this man is like you know secret uh, ideal sexual partner for you. So maybe everything for the time being is, you know, only in your imagination. Maybe this is only your desire. Maybe nothing have happened just yet. But all I'm saying, opportunity is here, honey. Opportunity is here or it is going to be presented pretty much, you know, soon. So with the nine of swords, this is nasty tarot card. The, the title, the name of this tarot card is Cruelty. So either you consider yourself that somebody is cruel toward you, maybe somebody is playing with you, maybe, who knows. But if you are married, this is your secret, secret wish, you know, this is your secret wish and most likely you will have, you know, chance, chance to be with this man. Additional tarot card, which I promise uh, to you to reveal, this is Major Arcana, the Hero of Ant. This is a tarot card which describes marriage or traditional relationship committed one between you and the other person. So basically, do you understand now message? If you are unhappy in your marriage, this is not an exit for you. If you are un unhappy, then the exit uh, is divorce. But if you decide to enter into love triangle, and if you think that this person can heal your wounds, but at the very same time you are going to stay in your marriage, you are going to be very, very unhappy, even much more unhappy than before. If you are single, thank God, if you are single, then those two tarot cards cannot be, you know, applied for you, thank God, because if you are single, only those four tarot cards are for you. So, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini could be very, 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 very good match for you. Whatever it is, this is basically marriage material, what I tend to call, and I, I just adore this expression, marriage material, honey, is coming finally in your life. You need to be serious, so get serious, in front of you is marriage. Why I am repeating get serious? So this is not me, you know. I am tarot reader and my job is to translate symbols and this is exactly what I am doing. So this is traditional, uh, traditional relationship. So either you need to get serious or maybe you will ask, you know, somebody next to you, please be serious and, you know, make with me, you know, plans for our future. That is if you are for quite some time already in a relationship with somebody. But if you are totally, totally new, then on your horizon will come beautiful, beautiful woman if you are a male Aquarius and also very, very, very sexy, handsome 
uh, men if you are Aquarius uh, woman. So this is your weekly love tarot reading. My dear friends, let me say thank you for being here. Please support my channel. Please do subscribe. If you will like and share this video with your friends. Until next week, enjoy. Take care.